Hey guys, welcome to Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles. I'm Mr. Viper Fang, and I figured that a... Since Sonic's having his 25th anniversary this year... Um... Get out of that. I figured that it would be a good idea to play a Sonic game to celebrate that. So, I decided to pick my favorite of all of the Sonic the Hedgehog games. Sonic 3 and Knuckles specifically. Not Sonic 3, not Sonic and Knuckles. It's only when you put the two together that it becomes my all-time favorite Sonic the Hedgehog game. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be playing this on my Retron because it it does not sound like it would on a Sega Genesis. Un I think that's because the Retron doesn't use any authentic uh, console parts. So, I'm using the Steam version, which apparently sounds just like it would on a Sega Genesis. I'm... Let me go on ahead and cut in some Retron footage to show just how different it sounds compared to, like, the Sega Genesis version or the Steam version. And go. And now, let's go on ahead and take a listen to the Steam version. Yeah, um... It doesn't sound too bad, but it's just enough to kind of irk me a little bit. So, with that said, I'm going to be playing through as Sonic first, and then I'll be playing through as Knuckles. Why not just Tails by himself? He kind of has the same bosses as Sonic, and really the only difference is you can take different paths because he can fly, and... He doesn't have the doomsday zone at the end of Sonic and Knuckles, so I'm pretty much going to consider Tails the same as Sonic in this case. I'm going through his Knuckles because he has completely different paths in some of the zones, and he faces a different final boss. So I'm going to be doing two different run-throughs of the game for this Let's Play. Knuckles will be coming much later, but it's going to be... You'll, you'll see differences when I do get to Knuckles. So, let's go on ahead and start with Sonic. Hey, Knuckles, what's up? Oh, you're taking my emeralds, okay. Um, I guess I'll just follow you then, or at least try to get him back. So he goes, takes our Chaos Emeralds, and hides them in special stages. During these first two uh, zones, I'm going to be collecting all of the emeralds. After that, it's going to be going much faster. So I think for these couple, first two videos, it's going to be the first two zones. Because I'm going to be doing a lot of collect -a just to get all the Chaos Emeralds. And then when I get to the Sonic and Knuckles stages, which start with Mushroom Hill Zone, there's going to be a little more collect a so it's going to slow down a little bit. However, I'm more familiar with the Sonic and Knuckles stages, so I know where a lot of the special, rings, special stage rings are. Alright. 
And because I'm kind of a pro of a perfectionist, I may or may not be going after all of all of the rings in each special stage. If you get a perfect, it nets you 50,000 points. Yep. Just 50,000 points just like that. Perfect! Alright, let's finish the stage. It gets progressively faster as you go through the stages. As you... as more time uh, ticks on the clock in each special stage. To the point where it becomes almost impossible to control tight turns just to get some blue spheres. So... I'm gonna try to... F I'm also going to try, along with getting the perfect, to finish each special stage in an appropriate amount of time to where I'm not going crazy trying to control my turning radius. The, I'm glad to say that this is one of the few games that I played during my childhood that I have a very good memory of where a lot of the stuff is. Let me go on ahead and show a little screen cap of, or just a little clip of the save files that are currently on my uh, cartridge, my original Sega Genesis cartridge. That is... That is a lot of time put in to a game that I grew up with as a, chi uh, as a child. This is pretty much the game I played as a child. Alright, second special stage. I'm feeling this Let's Play is just going to be a lot of me reminiscing about how great this game was and how much time I sunk into it. Rings, so many rings. Actually, you know what? Just for the sake of time, I'm probably going to be skipping out on a, on a lot of the rings. I probably just get enough rings to get a continue. Because, you know, those are going to be useful somehow. I'm also playing this without my headphones on because... For some reason, the speakers I have on this computer seem to play everything very loudly, and the volume dial doesn't do jack shit to alleviate this loud noise. But I can hear it just fine through my headphones, and I really hope it doesn't pick up on the mic all too much. Oh yeah, this is one of the few special stages that has a hundred rings that you can collect. Alright, I'm pretty much done. Yeah! Getting them rings! Whew, two emeralds so far and I haven't even finished the first video. Oh yeah, something I found very weird about the Sonic and Knuckles stages, there's no water to speak of whatsoever in those stages. Yet they feature the bubble shield a couple of times. Which is quite odd. Oh yeah, if you'll notice, uh, the stage music changed because I guess that, uh, I guess it triggered because of the uh, fire in the background when I came out of the special stage. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get the lightning shield. Nah. Oh, I will. There's a platform. I kind of want the lightning shield for right now. The way the shields work is... Uh, they protect you from hits, but they also have secondary properties. The lightning shield 
being able to suck in rings and give you a double jump. The fire shield allows you to boost uh, forward at a max speed in mid-air. Five, six. And the bubble shield allows you to bounce. And it also protects you from drowning in water. So it leaves the tedium of water stages a little bit. Or just stages where you have to go into water no matter what. Which is nice. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm actually just gonna go on ahead and fast forward through this special stage, because I... until I can think of something meaningful to say that I think would benefit this commentary. that, I finished another uh, special stage and I got uh, another emerald for it. Alright. Let's go on ahead and burst through that and... It does have the traditional uh, dinging sound whenever you whenever you're in water in this game. However, you don't get that when you have the bubble shield on because, well, you're not consuming any air. Also, I just lost my bubble shield. One of the things I like about the uh, water sections or just the zones that have a specific water theme to it is that the zones will actually allow you to go as fast or as slow as you want depending on certain things. One of the things being is if you know the stage layout, you will almost never encounter any uh, sections where you have to go underwater. And that's one of the things I like about the water stages in this game. It really only forces you to go slow if you screw up. Alright, let's go on ahead and speed up this process. If I had a lightning shield here, I would be able to jump up there without having to use a loop. Alright, there's one more special stage I'm going to be hitting in the zone. And it's coming up right about here. All right. And now, God bless America. I'll see you at the end of the special stage. Sadly, I have never been able to figure out how to get a perfect on that one. At least for the longest time, I haven't been able to figure that out. I think I'm supposed to leave a section of uh, Blue Spheres uh, and then wait until the end to get that specific section, like a line of Blue Spheres. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm just not gonna worry about getting uh, all the rings just for time's sake. Just so I don't make these videos extra long. Alright, if I can time it right, I can get the fire shield from this one. It's gonna make things go a little bit faster for this section. And I will be going through the uh, bonus stages later on in the game. 
I'm not going to worry about it for these first two zones because I'm going to be worrying about getting all the emeralds. Also, if you just keep... I, I'm not even hitting the directional path. I'm just hitting the jump button. It's keeping my speed up enough to where I can outrun those bombs. Also, the fire shield will not protect me from the bombs, which is why you don't want to just leave the controller alone during this. Alright. And for some reason, once that bridge starts collapsing, all the hitboxes disappear. So, yeah, there's another thing. Also, hi. Nice fireballs. They feel kind of warm. Alright, so that's going to do for this episode. And next time, it's going to be Hydro City Zone. Which is probably a stage that a lot of people hate, but for some reason, I don't. Oh well. Later, guys. Oh, hey, Knuckles. What are you doing? Oh, God!